this is retina imaging channel in this video we shall be talking about the normal OCT features so this is how a normal OCT looks like if we start from the vitreous side then the first or the innermost layer of the retina will be a cellular internal limiting membrane it is followed by a nerve fiber layer which is particularly thick near the optic nerve head a small pointer here if you want to know which is the nasal retina and the optic nerve is not provided in the OCT image the nasal retina is where the nerve fiber layer is more prominent or thicker. Next is the ganglion cell layer which is narrow hyporeflective band after nerve fiber layer. Next there are striations which make the retina a banded structure on OCT. There are two hyperreflective bands and two hyporeflective zones. Starting from the inner side of the retina first, the first hyperreflective band is inner plexiform layer which is followed by a hyporeflective zone which is inner nuclear layer. They are followed by hyperreflective outer plexiform layer and hyporeflective outer nuclear layer. Following the outer nuclear layer, there occurs a thin hyperreflective line on OCT, which is external limiting membrane. The hyporeflective zone after external limiting membrane is called myoid zone. After that, there is a thicker and more prominent hyperreflective band, which is called ellipsoid zone. This is the same band which was previously called inner segment out segment junction. However, the current understanding is that it should be named ellipsoid zone. Ellipsoid zone is followed briefly by a hyporeflective zone which is photoreceptor outer segments. Then there are two hyperreflective bands. The inner band is called interdigitation zone and the outer band is the retinal pigment epithelium. The external limiting membrane, myoid zone and ellipsoid zone are shown in this blown out image. Now the enhanced depth imaging allows us to image beyond RP as seen in this picture. The sclerochoroid junction, choroidal large vessel layer or Haller's layer and medium vessel layer or satellite layer can be visualized with enhanced depth imaging. So this is about normal macula on OCT. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.